We are trading Micron right now. Come over to my screen. So if you look at this, Micron is breaking down so nicely. There were a couple of things that I noticed here. This was actually brought to me by a community member on a live stream. I got really excited when I saw this one for a couple of reasons. I saw different, almost negative pressures pushing down on the stock. So the first thing, the first thing, let's draw in some yellow here. I saw a head and shoulders pattern happening. Here was your head and I actually saw two. Here was your shoulder, here was your shoulder, here was another shoulder and another shoulder. So you could just have all that negative pressure of that pattern pushing down on this stock. It's a very, very hard thing to break when you see a pattern like this. Now, let's draw in pink. Let's draw a support level in here. So this is really the big support level. And my big play was, if I get a candle that drops below that support level, I'm gonna throw a tracker share on it. And back when this was happening, I was not in the sweet spot for three days yet with red and yellow. I was, I was in the sweet spot with red, but I wasn't in there with yellow yet. So it was just wait for that pattern, wait for that pattern. Luckily for me, let me clear that out. As soon as this engulfing candlestick happened, we dropped into the sweet spot for three days with red and yellow, and I was into my trade. So I got in this thing pretty early. Then the next day happened. The next day happened where something came out about China and boom, all of your tech stocks, AMD, Micron, Taiwan Semiconductors, everything gapped down. And I made a very quick 6%. I'm still in this thing. There's no reason to exit, and I'll explain it. 6.25% in a day. Today, it's down another 2.44%. What are my kind of reservations that I'm seeing right now? Well, there's not a lot. The big one is, I guess, the 100-day moving average here. But what are we noticing? We're getting a ton of volume, a ton of selling volume coming through here with a big drop below the 100 day moving average. So this thing is just gonna keep moving, moving, moving. The big thing to pay attention to here will be the volume. Let's see, it's 1042 in the morning. Average volume on this thing is 26 million shares traded per day. We're at about five. It's a little lighter than I like to see. I typically like to see 30% of average volume in the first one hour of the trading day. We're not getting that. But the fact that the, that is consistently, I mean, we're an hour and 45 minutes into this, hour and 15 minutes into this trading day, and we still have, we're still at the bottom of this candle. So I'm going to keep following this for the rest of the day. The argument could be made at this point to take some profits at the 100 day moving average, but I'm going to wait and let this keep running. There's still negative news out there about China, tech stocks, et cetera. Now you're probably asking, why are you paying so much attention to the news here? That's a great question. I don't typically pay attention to the news, but if there's news out there that's driving something down and it's just a lot of negative coming from every angle, I mean, this is coming from levels of up to the White House, then of course you have every single pundit out there that's talking about how uh, you even had Goldman Sachs come out today and say that the AI tech bubble is, is dead. You need to position yourself to, to short companies like NVIDIA. We haven't heard that in the last two years. It's all of that negative news that makes me go, all right, let's pay attention to these tech things. Let's pay attention to these chip stocks. So before I go any further, I wanna go back to what I initially said. This stock was brought to me by a community member. I go live twice a week on YouTube, once specifically for the community, and it is a great place for people to find stocks like these. Everybody has their own watch list. Everybody is flipping through different companies and everybody is looking for different patterns. This one happened to be thrown to me, and boom, it moved to, if you look over here, it moved to number three on my watch list. Why is it number three? It can actually move to number one now. Because Tesla, I day traded yesterday because of a member of the community. Moderna, I'm in right now because of a member of the community. So if you want to be in the community, if you want to interact with people like that, including myself, the link is in the description below, $25 a month. It is a Patreon. Guys, that you're going to make up your money so fast in there once you learn how to trade. It is a fantastic place for like-minded people to be. So let me go back to this trade. What am I looking for going forward? Well, let's say that we get through the 100-day moving average, okay? That's kind of the big play here. Let's say we get through the 100. Well, this thing has a long way to go because this is the chart that I'm trading this on. This is giving me context clues to what's going to happen. Maybe it gets hung up here at the 100 and it just starts going like that, but eventually it'll fall. I think I can short this down to the 200 or at a minimum short it down to fill this gap here, which is going to be a little bit above the 200, maybe $105 a share. But with where the trend is, with the negative sentiment that is out on this stock, this thing can absolutely fall to this 105, possibly $100 level. Now, the other question has to become, 
what happens if it doesn't work out the way you just said it? Well, if it doesn't work out the way I just said it, and this is kind of the end of the road here, I think what will happen is we're going to... So this, this move down, that's a very powerful move down. It's going to be very difficult for this thing to just jump right back up here, especially there's no earnings coming up. Unless I think it's the White House, the current administration comes out and says something so pro-China that this stock jumps up, I don't think anything's going to happen here. So I don't have to worry about news moving this. I could be wrong, but... I think it'll just kind of come back up here to the 100 and it'll just consolidate at the 100. And over time, it'll just start to gradually start to creep its way back up. I can also draw it over here, start to creep its way back up. But at this point, I am up 8.75% in a matter of two days, like one and a half days. The argument can be made, just take your gains and move on. It was, it was a great trade. But because I have so much house money that I'm playing with, I'm going to gamble on this one. I'm going to let this one ride. And especially because of this, I have so far to move with this trend. I have so far to move with this trend to the downside. That's why I think the first part of what I said, where you're going to drop and you're going to fill that major gap, you're going to get down to that $105, $100 level. I think that's more likely to happen, especially because of that double head and shoulders pattern that I showed you. If you guys want to see another chip stock that I made money on, click this video right here. You're going to enjoy it. See ya.